It's that time, guys. Welcome back to the car. You guys remember this? It's time to grab my Canadian car, guys. This is my first time ever, ever in my whole entire lifetime. I don't know what to say after. Have I ever tried Swiss Chalet? This is the first time ever I've tried Swiss Chalet. So Swiss Chalet is well known in Canada. Big shout out to the Ralphies. If you guys don't know who the Ralphies are, guys, I'll leave a link in the description. These are Canadians who love Swiss Chalets. And they got me kind of craving it, guys. Like I'm craving it for some reason. Like when I watched them eat it, it was, I was drooling. <laughs> so. Time to get my Canadian car, all right? On the menu today, this is their iconic Swiss Chalet sauce. I'm not too sure what it is. It's somewhat like a gravy, but their twist, their take on it. Maybe it's not, I don't know, I don't know, okay? Next, we got, I'll show you guys, I'll open this. Give me a second, give me a second. Oh man! So, we got our chicken dinner. Not, why did I say chicken? Chicken's always on my mind, guys. So this is their roasted, I think prime rib dinner. Looks tasty, guys. Mashed potato gravy, Swiss chalet sauce at the bottom. Their hot buns and veggies. Looks good. It smells amazing too. On their menu, we got, one second. Oh man. Their half rack rib, five hot chicken wings. I'm not too sure what this is. Rib sauce, it's rib sauce and a nice hot bun. Looks mighty tasty. Lastly, we got, one second, their iconic, iconic? Rotisserie chicken. Smells amazing, looks amazing, guys. French fries looks absolutely fresh and amazing. Bread looks nice and hot again. Chicken looks amazing. More Swiss so chalet sauce. In this bag, okay. three cutlery. We got a nice salad, nice and fresh. More Swiss chalet sauce? I don't know, probably not. Maybe dressing? We got ketchup. Oh, this is the dressing, what is this then? Let's figure it out. Ah, coleslaw. <laughs> coleslaw, butter, and some ketchup, guys. Let's get into this. First things first, let's see how iconic this sauce is. A lot of people rave about Swiss chalet sauce, like, it's like gold or something. <laughs> a sip of this, quick time, guys. Yeah, it's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. I smell a lot of all seasoning in this. All seasoning, cloves, maybe some nutmeg. I'm super pumped for this. Mmm. -hmm. I taste a lot of cloves in this, which I do like, guys. I'm gonna try it with some french fries. Okay, I'll buy this, quick tie. Yeah, it's got it, nice. Soup pump this. Mmm. It's like a herby. A herby? A herby gravy. <laughs> which is pretty tasty, I'm not gonna lie. Most definitely their own. This is what I see the Ralphies do, or Daryl do all the time, and Nadine. They dip their buns into the gravy, guys. I'll buy this, quick time. You guys got it, nice. Super pump this. Give me my Canadian card after this. <laughs> That's pretty tasty, guys. It's weird in a way. Like it's not gravy. It's Swiss chalet sauce. <laughs> it's not bad guys. Mm. Their fries are amazing though. Guys, quick time. Let's get it. Super pumped for this one. Their fries are top notch, legit. Look at this. I'm not too sure. Look, more Swiss chalet sauce over here. Wait. All right. 
Here it is. More Swiss chalet sauce on here. Their fries look hand cut to me. It's delicious. I would say the sauce on its own, it's a little weird to me in the beginning. But dipping the fries in the bread makes it very tasty. Let's try this. Their iconic rotisserie chicken. All right, that seems a little dry, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm gonna go for it, guys. Super pumped this. Dark meat, guys. Buy this quick tap. Let's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm hmm. Chip. All right. That's pretty tasty. The chicken's a little dry at the end part, but I'll show you. Like dark meat is supposed to be what moist. It is a little moist too, guys. But I want to say it's been left in or left out for a bit long. I'd say, but it's still tasty, very tasty, guys. Like rotisserie chicken. Like I used to work at a place where they serve well, not kind of yeah, rotisserie chicken. I think the hardest part to keeping like a mass rotisserie chicken <laughs> like more than one or like 10 rotisserie chicken moist is what am i even saying that didn't even make sense just trying to keep it moist is pretty hard guys because you have to leave it in a sham and hope customers come on the same or the right time to have good chicken it is a little dry in my opinion but it is tasty guys it is very tasty back when i was young guys i don't know what it was Every time I seen Swiss Chalet on the commercial or they have flyers, I always wanted to eat it. But my parents were like, no. <laughs> Very tasty. I'm beginning to like this sauce. It's very tasty. I'm beginning to like it, guys. It's growing on me. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. I feel like I'm always like this, guys. Every time I try something new, I have so much to say, but then when I keep eating it, I start understanding why they did it <laughs> or why it tastes like this. And it's delicious.
Mm -hmm. It's very delicious. <sighs> Good thing. I got another side of this, you know? <laughs> At first, guys, when you eat this, it's a little weird. But it is very tasty. If you guys love cloves and everything, it's very tasty. Their beef platter. So, I believe this is horseradish. I'm just gonna dump, eat. look at this. Dump this beautiful horseradish on top. I'm gonna set to the side, set to the side. <laughs> We got gravy on this side. Let's try their gravy. Okay. This is Swiss Chalet gravy, guys. A sip of this. You guys got it. Nice. Soup pump for this. All right. That's gravy right there. Like, legit. That is gravy. And it's good gravy. No complaint there. Let's try this. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Who doesn't like mashed potatoes and gravy? Quick time, guys. This got be nice. Soup pump for this. They're mashless. Legit. I want to say it's bag mash. <laughs> Even though it's bag mash. It's delicious. Okay. Here. Roast beef. Quick time, guys. Let's get it. Nice. Super pop for this. Mm. That's pretty tasty. I'm gonna try some of this au jus in the side here. I see that little au jus pocket here. I don't want to spill it, but it's right there. Um, quick time. I just got it. Nice. Soup pump for this. It's delicious. It's like... A good hearty roast beef dinner. Eat in the car. <laughs> I probably recommend you guys if you guys go to Swiss Chalet get a side of Swiss Chalet sauce on the side so you can just drink it <laughs> <laughs> lastly is the rib so this is the extra rib <laughs> guys buy this quick tap you guys got it nice soup up for this It's good, guys. I would say nothing crazy, I would say. But it's good. Let's try this. This is there. Swiss Chalet barbecue sauce. It's tangy, smoky. What was that restaurant called, guys? Austin Power Fat Bastard. Was this for Chalet? I don't know. I want my baby back ribs. <laughs> um, chiles, that's what it was, guys. Chili here, guys, is gone. Like, legit. They disappeared. 
I think the reason because too much um, hipster pop-up stop hipster pop-up stores guys nice wing with that let's get that nice soup pump for this their wings are delicious mm -hmm. very delicious mm -hmm. Oh man, that's pretty good. <laughs> I want to say for a family restaurant, I think this is a family restaurant. It's a really tasty place, guys. Legit, it is. It's like a hole in the wall, but not really. <laughs> the only question now: Would I take my date to Swiss Chalet? Of course I would. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to like this comment here. Not like this comment. Like this video here. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace out. <laughs>